Energy is indispensable to our lives. We need energy to move around, produce our food, power our homes, businesses, just about everything else. To tackle the climate crisis, we have to transition our entire energy system from fossil fuels to renewable energy and increase energy efficiency. This also means making more sustainable choices in our daily lives by reducing our own carbon footprints, as well as supporting policies that promote sustainable energy in all areas of life. This is a monumental task, but it is possible. Solar and wind energy are now the cheapest forms of energy available, and they can help us cut costs while drastically reducing emissions. They can also enable us to extend energy access to remote communities, power livelihoods, improve education, and even save lives through critical services like healthcare. In this episode of Climate Action Explained, we're inviting you on a trip around the world, from Uruguay to Bosnia and Herzegovina to Zimbabwe. Come and see how different countries are working on climate solutions in the energy sector. As a district hospital, 24-7, we have to be able to operate on a pregnant woman who needs cesarean sections. We have to be able to deliver all the complicated cases in a well-lit environment. All of this need electricity. So across the country, we've got more than a thousand facilities that have benefited from the Solar for Health. We are aiming at improving the health services that are given at the facilities in the country. In addition to that, looking at mitigating the things that affect our climate, getting energy from solar, which is a clean source of energy, help us reduce uh, emissions and we get a more affordable energy source. All those vaccines, those medications, they need a stable temperature of plus 2 to plus 8 degrees Celsius, which can only be assured by the refrigerators running on electricity 24-7. So I can certainly say that it has been a game changer. And in terms of evidence, we now have fewer maternal mortality cases. we are heavily fossil fuel dependent country which actually causes air pollution which causes huge greenhouse gas emissions and there is an immediate need to react upon that Decarbonization is absolute priority of Bosnia and Herzegovina energy sector. It can be best and easily achieved by energy efficiency and switch to renewable energy sources. UNDP in Bosnia and Herzegovina is actively working with private sector and actually how to increase their capacities to embrace this green transition. Results are seen immediately via reduction of energy, financial savings, creation of green jobs and then reduction of greenhouse gas emissions. Almost 76% of our greenhouse gas emissions come from energy sector. Benefits of energy efficiency measures are huge. So far, we have contributed to energy efficiency measures in almost 300 public buildings. Javna ustanova Dječji vrtić Larisa Šugić se bavi preškolskim vaspitanjem i obrazovanjem. Dakle, djelatnost mu je cjelodnevna briga o djeci. Često nam se dešavalo da na krov prokišnjava, čime smo imali velike probleme jer ipak su u objektu. Pored toga imali smo dosta problema za peć koju smo prije šest godina. Primjerom mjera energetske efikasnosti dobili smo značajne uštede u budžetu, znači ona sestva koja smo prije. Pa na zgradi je prije svega urađen novi krov, urađena je izolacija iznad stropova, urađeni su novi stropovi, zamjene su instalacije od struje, zamjene su rasjedna 
tijela novim energetski efikasnim rasvetnim tijelima, zamijenjena je stolarija i jedan dio kuhinje je renoviran, odnosno obloge pločice u kuhinji. Uslovi u objektu su sada mnogo bolji, djeca mogu boraviti i u zajedničkim prostorijama i u sobama i nemamo više onaj problem da nismo postigli optimalnu temperaturu u radnim prostorijama. La primera vez que subí en un ómnibus eléctrico fue una experiencia formidable, ¿no? De venir en un vehículo que de repente tenía un ruido en el motor grande y subirse a un coche de esto y prenderlo y de repente no saber si está prendido el coche o no, es espectacular. Around 95% of the energy generated today is coming from renewable energies. But the country has also decided to move forward in other sectors and special attention has been taken for the transportation, which as of today represents around 41% of the emissions. Moves has a very clear objective to work in promoting low carbon, efficient and inclusive mobility. Through incentives provided by the state of Uruguay, 32 buses were purchased. Porque estos vehículos tienen la capacidad de regenerar energía. Si el conductor realiza algunas serie de serie de, de, de modalidades a la hora de la conducción, esa energía que se produce a través de la rueda vuelve de vuelta a la batería. Se puede regenerar aproximadamente un 30% de la carga este, que puede tener el coche. Que justo en el momento de que esas energías renovables se están produciendo, como pueden ser los generadores eólicos o, o las represas hidroeléctricas, eso es energía que hoy por hoy no se puede acumular. La movilidad eléctrica pasa a ser una, una excelente oportunidad para acumular en ese momento la energía, en esos, en esos vehículos, en esas baterías, y que podamos brindar no solamente un, un transporte mucho más este, amigable con el medio ambiente, sino que ser eficiente utilizando esa energía que, que el, el país es una, una gran inversión, poder utilizarla en los momentos de que no es tan redituable para el resto de la población. Porque yo vivo en el medio de la ciudad y subirme a un ómnibus eh, que no haga ruido, eh, por más que parezca algo menor, para mí es como, ese es como un momento como para bajar un poco. En el futuro me gustaría ver una ciudad con más ómnibus eléctricos, con menos ruido eh, y con más eh, posibilidades de transporte para bicicletas, eh, caminatas, etc. Estamos ahora en curso con un llamado internacional para la compra de 100 nuevos buses eléctricos para poder dar una primera etapa al 2024, apuntando, como te había mencionado, a la, a la renovación del 25% para el 2025. Ser parte de este cambio es tratar de dejarle un poquito a las nuevas generaciones, dejarle un poquito a nuestros hijos un país mejor. As these examples show us, we have the answers to fight climate change and build a better, safer future. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, check out the rest of our series in the links below. What do you think about these solutions? Please let us know in the comments. Thank you.